The story of Carla Homolka serves as a harsh reminder that evil deeds can stem from the most unexpected sources, proving that appearances can indeed be deceptive. Carla Homolka Carla Homolka, often referred to as the Ken and Barbie killer, alongside her then-husband, Paul Bernardo, are figures of infamy in Canadian criminal history. Their appalling crimes in the early 1990s would leave a lasting mark, a grim testament to the human capacity for evil. Born in 1970 in Ontario, Canada, Homolka had an ordinary middle-class upbringing. Her life took a dark turn when she met Paul Bernardo, and the pair embarked on a crime spree that involved a series of sexual assaults and murders. One of the most shocking aspects of Homolka's story was her involvement in the crimes against her younger sister, Tammy Homolka. She and Bernardo drugged and assaulted Tammy, who tragically died in the process. This gruesome event marked the beginning of their criminal activities, which escalated over the next couple of years. The couple's victims were often young girls, whom they would abduct, torture, and kill. Their heinous acts came to light in 1993, when Bernardo was arrested for a series of rapes in the Scarborough area of Ontario. The subsequent police investigation unearthed the horrific truth about the couple's other crimes. Homolka's trial was a media sensation, with a controversial plea deal at its center. She received a 12-year sentence in exchange for her testimony against Bernardo. The prosecution painted her as a victim of Bernardo's abuse, who had been forced into complicity, a portrayal that was later called into question when more damning evidence of her involvement emerged. 